Hello and welcome to another edition of Stockwatch, the final Stockwatch of the trading week. And we're just taking a look at natural gas as it's just peaked to a 13 year high. This actually happened at the back end of last week, but it's continued the ascension, which we'll look at in the chart shortly. But we have to look at the the tensions between Russia and the Ukraine, which is why we've seen such a spike in not only gas, but oil as well with gold well, following suit with the news as well. So on the one hand, you've got Europe, which is committed to trying to wean its self off uh, Russian gas and oil supplies by the summertime. Uh, you've got Joe Biden in America, obviously uh, trying to give, uh, well, promising to give Europe more than 15 billion cubic meters of natural gas exports uh, this year alone. And we've also got a goal, uh, sorry, a coal rally that's going on, which is partially to blame for this spike in natural gas as well. So we've got a few additional factors uh, moving uh, this uh, gas higher. Obviously, summer period is coming up in uh, most of the northern hemisphere so this is when a lot of the well gas prices are usually at normal levels but we'll see if there's a little bit of a turn down uh, as we move out of the winter months into the spring and summer months as well but for now this 13 year high as we look on the charts at the moment this 13 year high is looking very very bullish and does not look like it's slowing down anytime soon if i put the um ichimoku indicator on you can just see the ascension uh, that we've seen in the last few trading sessions and you know pulling this all the way back to a few years ago we haven't seen these levels uh, at all since uh, 2000 and uh, eight, as I said, 13 year high, 2008, 2009. So we just zoom in on the areas uh, that we're noticing more ascension in this rally. And if you look, we have had uh, some spikes in the Ichimoku cloud, big engulfment here. But since then, the cloud got very thin and we've seen this movement to the upside. And the worry is uh, for bears, especially, is that there's no. Um, divergences on the RSI is a standard trend that we're looking at at the moment so we'll see if um, this can be broken down on the intraday the four hour chart but as you can see here very very big ascension we could have said there was a slight bearish divergence if this peak didn't happen on the RSI and then we could have this obvious divergence here however this hasn't happened and prices are still looking higher to the upside as well so we'll see what comes into fruition for natural gas in the meantime and we can't look at couldn't look at natural gas to without looking at oil as well so the last time we looked at oil as you can see here which was at the beginning of the week we had this um dissension just move these drawings it's easy to see we had this dissension uh to the well, obviously to the downside. We've peaked through the Ichimoku cloud, but now as you can see, we are now finding support roughly around the $95 level. And as you can see, a big spike up to trading at 103 at the moment, $104. Uh, this is very significant because if we look at the price action for the last few trading sessions, um, oil has kind of been in a slow upturn until we saw these recent spikes which was not so long ago at the beginning of march however since then as you can see we've peaked from this part it's literally been quite choppy you know it's pretty much been a 30 percent uh, change in prices up to 130 dollars and then back down to 100 dollars and then well piercing the $100 mark and now we're back up to $104. So we'll see what happens in the near term. Um, so speaking of near term, let's just take a look at the four hour chart as well. Currently, we are just moving on the top border of the Ichimoku cloud, which gives us a good indication of another upside move. So we'll see if that comes into fruition and to see what the chances are for that in the near term, at least. Uh, as I said, looking for any kind of divergences on the RSI. We're just looking at another move to the overbought area here. And then this will probably give us a good indication that price is probably bounced at this upper channel and are now moving lower. So we'll see what the um, opportunities are in the near term. As we head into the weekend, obviously trading market is closed on the weekend. So Monday morning, look for those big gaps in the market and try to see if there are any opportunities and we'll speak again on Monday. For now, have a good weekend, have a good trading day ahead and bye for now.